No! 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 My last sheet of toilet paper. What am I gonna do? I'm using the leftover paper roll to meticulously measure the width of each roll of paper. I'm using Costco brand paper towels because I expect they'll be nice and comfy and absorbent. Most of you probably don't have a fancy bandsaw like this. Fortunately, there are many ways to cut the roll. To cut the paper manually, make sure you put it in a nice, strong, sturdy vise. You can see my pencil mark for my cut line, and I tighten it up, and I get ready to cut. Here I'm using a traditional handsaw. Most of you will have one of these. If your hand saw is rusty or dull, try using a Japanese saw. If that's not much better, you can always try a drywall saw. Or you can try, I don't know, maybe a hacksaw? Oh, I can't cope with this. Instead of cutting, how about a little bit of sculpting? Well, that's not working well. Let's go back to sawing some more. Finally, a practical use for my multi tool. I should have thought of this earlier. A good old kitchen knife. So as you can see, I have two nice rolls of toilet paper here. And I have a third roll, which uh, isn't quite the right size, it's left over. But I have a great idea how to use this. So of course this smaller roll is absolutely perfect for babies. <laughs>